Residents of another small American town are tonight trying to comprehend the danger they face from a noxious cloud of burning materials that have forced up to 2,000 people to flee their homes. Multiple fires burning right now in Richmond, Indiana, on a 14-acre former factory site. The fires fueled by plastic stored on the site. The fires are spewing an ominous column of black smoke, the dangerous plume captured on weather radar and satellite images. Tonight, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency teams are on the ground measuring the air, trying to learn the level of danger. Maggie Vespa is there for us tonight. A billowing plume of hazardous black smoke hangs over Richmond, Indiana tonight. Spread fast. After a former plastics recycling plant went up in flames Tuesday. We got one way into this fire. A hurdle for firefighters navigating the 175,000 square foot site, semi-trailers and buildings packed with plastic, which they say acts as pure fuel. The entire complex is either burning or has burned. And we're looking at uh, close to 14 acres worth of plastic. There were no serious injuries, but the toxic inferno forced more than 1,500 people from their homes. Local schools closed today. The evacuation zone covers a half mile radius around that fire. Driving in, we saw the smoke roughly 20 miles out. And now we're a mile back. And this is our view. I am not doing so well. Christina Cox's home is just 200 feet from the plant. How scared were you? Oh, my God. I've never been that scared. I was in tears. I bet it'll take that whole building out. She shot this video before fleeing with family photos and her cat. My home is here, and I don't want to lose my home. I've never laid my head down and cried as much as I did yesterday. The EPA says it has detected particulate matter from the fire, the agency monitoring for cancer-causing toxins. So far, officials say none have been identified. Meanwhile, city officials are blasting the site's owner. This business owner had previously been cited by our unsafe building commission and given an order to clean up the property. That order was ignored. NBC News reached out to the last known company to operate the plant. So far, no response. And tonight, there's no word on when residents will be able to return home with the fire expected to burn for days. So Maggie, how are officials advising people there to stay safe through this? Yeah, so Lester officials say areas outside the evacuation zone are safe, though they do recommend wearing masks within a certain proximity of the plant. At the same time, people have been reporting pieces of debris, like pieces of the roof or walls, floating into their yards miles away. And officials say that debris could contain asbestos, and they're urging people not to touch it.